What's up guys, in this video, I am going to show you the fastest way to build a modern, clean and professional website using Hostinga AI Website Builder. When I started building websites years ago, a simple website would take you several hours to make. But now with this AI, you can just enter a simple text prompt and in less than 30 seconds, it will generate the first draft of your website for you. It also comes with a beginner-friendly drag and drop page editor that you can use to fully customize your website. Right now, I am going to walk you through the entire process starting from how to use Hostinger AI to generate your website, how to customize it, and finally launch your brand new website. So the first thing you want to do is to set up your hosting account with Hostinger. And I have a special link in the description for you guys. If you use that link, you will get up to 70% discount on all their hosting plans. So right now, click on the first link below this video, or you can just go to hostinger.com slash adanu, and that will bring you over here. And then you can go ahead and click start now. Then pick the hosting plan you want to go for. The good thing with Hostinga is that they give you so many options depending on your level and your budget. For instance, they have the single plan, which is the most affordable. It's as low as 1,900 Naira per month. And this is perfect if you are creating just one website, you get 10 gig of SSD storage. Or if you'll be creating more websites and you want more resources, they have the premium plan which you can get for 2,900 Naira per month. And with this, you can create up to 25 websites. You get 25 gig of SSD storage. And then 12 months plans and above will come with a free domain for one year. So you don't need to buy your domain name separately. And they also have the business plan, which is 4,900 Naira per month. With this, you can create up to 50 websites. You get 50 gig of NVMe storage and all these other benefits. And then there is the cloud startup plan, which is 10,900 Naira per month. And with this, you can create up to 100 different websites. So what you want to do is to pick the hosting plan that will work best for you. The single plan is perfect for beginners. If you are just starting out, maybe you want to try it out, you can start with the single plan. But in terms of value for money, I think the premium plan is the best option. You get more resources for just 2,900 Naira per month. So let's say this is the one I'm going to go for. I'll click choose plan. Now select your hosting period. You can get from one month up to 48 months. The most important thing here is that the longer the period, the more discounts and the more benefits you get. For instance, let's say I pick the one month period, it is going to cost me 10,900 Naira per month and then no free domain. But let's say I go for 12 months, now it is just 3,900 Naira per month and I also get a free domain for one year, which is really nice. And if I decide to go for the 48 months period, it is now 2,900 Naira per month, I get a free domain for one year and also three months of hosting for free. Again, you can pick the period that works best for you, but I recommend you go for at least 12 months so that you get that free domain and that will come to a total of 46,800 Naira. And if you use my coupon code, you get an extra 10% discount from this. But let's say I want to save more money on the long run, I'll go for the 48 months plan, with this, I know that I will not have to worry about hosting for the next four years. Then you can come over here and claim your free domain. Search for the domain name you want to use. If it's available, select it. Then for the domain name period, I'll select one year. You can see I am basically getting this for free. Now, the next thing I want you to do is to click have a coupon code. If you check the description of this video again, you will see my coupon code right there, which is ADANU, A-D-A-N-U. So enter the coupon code right here. My current total is 139,200 Naira. But if I apply this coupon code, 
you will notice that my total has reduced to 125,280 naira. That's an extra 10% discount for you. So make sure to use my link and coupon code to get this discount for yourself. Now, with all of this in place, just go ahead and click continue. Before you proceed to the next step, you need to register a new account so you can enter your email address, set a password for yourself, then click register, or you can just sign up with your Google account. Once you are done with that, that will bring you over to the payment page. And here, just fill in the billing address form, click continue. Now, you need to select your payment method. The good thing is that Hostinger gives you multiple options, so you can select one that is most convenient for you. For Nera payment, the most convenient option is OP. With this, you can just pay with your OP account. So select OP, click Submit Payment, enter your OP number for document ID, then click Continue with OP. Now for the final step, you just need to enter your OP phone number and your login password. Also, make sure you have the required amount in your OP account. For instance, the amount I need to pay right now is 125,280 naira. So I need to have this amount in my OP account. And once you fill in all of this correctly, you can just go ahead, click next. At this point, OP will send you the OTP that you will use to verify and complete this payment. And once you've done that successfully, you can go ahead and log into your hosting account, then go to websites. Here, click add website, and you will see different options. You can use Hostinga Horizons. This is an AI agent that can help you build websites and web apps, or you can build your website with WordPress or with Hostinga Website Builder. Or if you want to write your own custom PHP, and HTML code, you can use this particular option. But right now, the method we are going to use is this AI powered Hostinga website builder. So click on it. And the way it works is very simple. You basically describe the kind of website you want to create. And in just a few seconds, this AI will generate a full blown website for you. You can use this builder to create any type of website whether it's a personal portfolio website or a business website, all you have to do is to describe the kind of website you want to the AI, and then it will generate a template for you that you can customize to get the final product that you like. Right now, let's say I want to create a website for a real estate business. Once I come over here, for the brand name, I'll just use the name of the business. Then you want to describe your website. So this is the prompt that I'm going to use. You basically just want to describe the kind of website you want. You can add specific details like the colors to use, the field, the pages that you want to have on the website. I'm going to leave this particular prompt in the description if you want to use it as a template, or you can even use ChatGPT to come up with your website description. So once you've entered your brand name, and description, just go ahead and click create website and let this AI do the magic and generate your website for you. And in a few seconds, you will get the first draft of your site. Now, this is what my website looks like. You can see that we have a nice looking homepage. This is the about page. And we have a listings page with all the properties available. And then we can also go to the contact page where we have the contact us form. If you were building this website manually, I am sure it will probably take you a couple of hours to get your website to this level. But with the power of AI, all of this took less than 60 seconds. At this point, the only thing left is to customize the content of your new website. So come over here and click continue to open the website editor. This is a very simple drag and drop editor. Like it is so simple, 
that anybody can use it. So in every page, you have three types of elements. You have text elements, you have buttons, then you have images or videos. And if you select any of these elements, you will see this edit option pop up. So if I click edit text, I'll be able to type in the text I want. You can also change the text style. Let's say if I want to change this to paragraph or heading to style text, I can do that from here. You can also change the font, the font size. You can make the text bold or you can italicize it, underline it and all these other options. Then if you select any button, you will see this option to edit button. And by clicking it, you will get this pop-up with different button settings that you can use to customize that particular button. So let's say I want to change the button text. I can do that from here. Maybe if I want to change it to inspect properties, you can just type in your text very easy. Then you can select where you want to link this button to. So if somebody clicks on this button, where do you want the button to redirect them to? You can either link to a web address by adding the destination URL, or let's say I want to link to a particular page on my website, I'll select page. Then for the page, I'll pick the listings page. Now, if somebody clicks on this button, to take them to the listings page on my website. You also have the option to link this button to a particular section on the home page to an email address, a phone number. That way, if somebody clicks on the button, they'll be able to dial the phone number or you can link it to a downloadable file. So if this was a download button, this is the option you will use. You can also choose whether you want the link to open in a new tab. So if you check this, once somebody clicks on this button, it will open the page in a new tab. Then you can also go to style. From here, you can change the button color, the text color, fonts, font size, and all this other stuff. You can also animate the button if you want. Then similarly, if I select an image or a video, I get this edit image button. And from here, you can decide to replace the image by uploading the image you want to use. You also have other image settings like style, action, shape, and animation. Another really cool feature is that you can use AI to generate images on your web page. Then if you want to delete a particular element, you can click on this delete button. So now that you know how to edit text, buttons, and images, you just need to follow this same process to customize your entire website. Now, let's say you want to add a new element to your page. Let's say I want to add a new text right here. What you want to do is to go to elements and you see different elements that you can add from text, buttons, videos, images. You even have the option to embed custom code on your website. So to add a new text, I'll just click on the text widget and then drag it to where you want to add your text. Let's say I'm going to place it here, and then I can type in the text I want. Then if you hold any element, you'll be able to drag it to any position you want on your web page. It is that simple. So if I want to position this properly, I can just place it right here. The thing I like so much about this page editor is that even though it is very easy to use, it still has a lot of control. It does not limit you in any way. Maybe let's say you want to add a new section to your page. You see this add section button, and then you can select the section template you want to use. Let's say you want to add a new section with testimonials. You can just come over to testimonials and you will see different testimonial templates. And if you just select any of these templates, it will automatically add it to your page then you can customize the text. You also get some very powerful AI tools that will help you to manage your website. So you have an AI image generator, AI writer, AI page generator, AI section generator. You just need to describe the section you want and it will build it out for you. Then we have AI blog generator, product details generator, SEO assistant, and logo maker. Let's say I want to add a logo to my website, I can use this AI logo maker. Describe the idea you have 
for your logo, select this style. I'll use minimalistic, then click create. I like this particular one, so I'll just go ahead and download it. And that's what I'm going to use as my website logo. Just upload it right here, click select. This looks good to me. You can also adjust the width. Maybe you want to make it bigger or smaller. That's really up to you. Or if you want to use text as your logo, just come over to text and then type in the text you want. Now, if you have products that you want to sell on your website, just come over to store. And from here, you'll be able to set up an online store. This is what the store page looks like. And everything is fully customizable. So if I go to store, you can manage your orders, your products, appointments, discounts. You basically have all the features you need for a fully functional e-commerce website. Then if you go to SEO, here you will get SEO recommendations that you can follow to optimize your website to rank higher on Google. So you will see a preview of what your page will look like in search results. You can also use AI to generate SEO title, meta description, and keywords for your page. If you do not want this page to show up on search engines, you can disable that from here. But basically, you can follow these recommendations for all the pages on your website if you want to rank higher on Google. At this point, go to more and you'll see some extra features. Like let's say maybe you want to export your website to WordPress. You can use export content to WordPress option. You can also back up your website. You can check your website analytics to see how your site is performing. Here you will see your form submissions. So if somebody sends you a message through the contact form on your website, you get that from here. Then if you go to integrations, you can easily connect your website to other services. Maybe for email marketing, you can add custom code, you can connect to WhatsApp, you can install your Facebook Pixel. If you want to run Facebook ads, you also have Google Analytics, Tag Manager, Google AdSense, so that you can make money from displaying ads on your website. Now, the final step is to come over to general settings. And here you can add a fav icon for your site. This is the icon that will show up on browser tabs. So I'll just bring in the fav icon that Hostinger AI generated for me. Click select, then click save changes. You can also customize the link preview image for your site and also your site cookie banner. Once you are done making all the customizations you need to make, you can click preview to see what your site will look like. You can also check the mobile view to make sure that your website is responsive and usable on smartphones because most people will actually use your website on their phones. So it's very important that everything looks good on mobile view as well. The good thing is the AI already gave us a very good and responsive website. So you really don't need to do too much here. And once you are sure that everything looks good on your site, the next step is to go live. But before you do that, you want to connect your custom domain. Right now, I am using a temporary domain. So you can click change domain. If you got the free domain with your hosting, you can select it right here, or you can just go ahead and get a new domain. And once you are ready to go live with your website, just click on this go live button. Hosting that will take a few seconds to optimize your website. And once it is done, it will launch your brand new website for you. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, just drop them in the comments. I'll be there asking your questions. Also, let me know the kind of video you want me to make next. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.